And to my teachers who'd said I'd never amount to anything. <laughs> Look at me now! I'm in my bedroom dressing up as Nicki Minaj and putting it on YouTube. What's that? I think I smell success. And to me, red carpets are just an excuse for celebrities to dress up and make the rest of us feel poor. You know, to me, $200,000 is, you know, a home loan, a really expensive car, or even a better life for 20 families living in poverty. But no, to celebrities, $200,000 is a dress and a left earring that they'll only wear once and then sell to a museum for even more. It is just ridiculous how much money these people spend on their red carpet outfits. Yeah, that's right, for most of us, it's buy one, get one free. But for celebrities, it's buy one, get 17 free and your own personal yacht included because we were just feeling generous that day. <laughs> Now when I think of a red carpet outfit, I usually think of something absolutely ridiculous but we just don't question it because it's on a celebrity. Like if I just rocked up to a 21st wearing a dress made out of beef like Lady Gaga did back in 2010, I'm pretty sure everyone would just stay away from me because they think I've lost my mind. Well, you know, if I'm offering myself up as tonight's entree. And not to mention the people that would come and try to rip the dress off me. Not because they want to see me naked, but because they'd probably try to put the cow back together and resuscitate it if they had a chance. And then freak out because they're now seeing two rumps on the red carpet, if you know what I'm saying. One a bit juicier than the other. <laughs> The beef, not me. 2019 just wouldn't have a bar of it. Just like you when you see these outfits I've pulled together for this video. <laughs> now to shoot these photos, today I'll be using the Canon Inspic S as not only is it just a gorgeous camera, but it's also just super easy to take the photo and have it print out that perfect size for literally any kind of photo album, scrapbook, birthday cards, or hey, even your wall. Plus, there's no need to worry about glue, as the sticky peel off back is about as clingy as I am to my boyfriend. Seriously, you can't get rid of me. So today, I'm gonna be recreating celebrities' most outrageous red carpet outfits. Let's do it. Nicki Minaj. May I just say, she looks fabulous. She also looks like she kind of fell in a box of Christmas decorations. So I'm really liking the textures. Yeah. I can't make out exactly what those beautiful little sparkly things on her dress are. But when I initially saw that, I thought it was tinsel. <laughs> um, so, <sighs> you're probably wondering, George, what the heck? Where'd you get tinsel from? It's October. Yeah, well, that's exactly what I thought too until I walked into Big W and heard Mariah Carey on the loudspeaker. I thought, what? This is the shock for me. And come on, it's October and Buble's already defrosting. This stuff is so itchy. Oh my gosh. So as you can see, the other day I had a little Tricky shop at the dollar store. Oh, the guy at the counter had so many questions. And I bought all this, and I even found a very, very top of the market Nikki M wig. In the back it says, I also bought some fabric and a tutu. And with all this, I intend to badly recreate this photo. Now something that's pretty cool about the Inspic S oh. is that it not only allows you to print out photos that you've taken on it, Duh. <laughs> but it also allows you to connect to your phone and print out screenshots, photos off the internet, or photos you've taken on your phone. Although it can't print out moving images, you know, we're not at Hogwarts. So I'm gonna connect it to the Canon Mini Print app and then I'm gonna print it. It's pretty easy. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna take you with me and let's make this dress. G'day. Welcome to my floor. Alright, so for my vision, this is gonna be the skirt. And I'm gonna get my handy dandy hot glue gun and glue all these things down. And I'm gonna try to replicate this very expensive one of a kind dress by gluing down on this piece of fabric these cheap items that I got for all of $10. Let's do this. I just burnt myself with a hot glue gun. This is where I should probably mention, if there's any kiddos watching, make sure you have a responsible adult helping you with a glue gun. I myself am an adult. Am I responsible? So, as you can see here, I have finished the skirt. <laughs> it's looking so good. That turned out better than I expected, honestly. You just look at it from back here and squint your eyes a little bit. It looks exactly the same. So I also bought this tutu thing to go underneath it to make it kind of like, you know, like... And I already had this black jumpsuit, which I was just thinking I could use for the top half. You know what? I've just seen... Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. So I'm going to put this underneath as well to make the skirt look like it's coming out a bit more. <laughs> I look more like a babushka doll than Nicki Minaj, but we'll get there. Except there's no more exciting layers to me. What you see is what you get. Look at that super base. <laughs> now I just need to finish the top. What is with celebrities and wearing wigs? Like, oh. <laughs> what is with celebrities and wearing wigs? Like, they all have hair. I mean, except for Brendan Fraser. That's a tragedy if I ever did see one. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nicki Minaj, a boom ba -do boom So I don't actually have all her jewellery, but that's fine. This is spot on. When the lady at the front desk finally gets up and walks. Jeez, if your anaconda doesn't want some of this, I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, so now it's time to take the photo and do the comparison. <laughs> Katy Perry. 
Her boobs look angry, like they're about to just pop off her chest and charge at me. It's almost like she's got a boyfriend just attached to her chest. Yeah, what do you think you're doing, mate? You're looking at her boobs? Like, if she turns towards you, you know she's talking to you. All right, I think I can do this. So I bought this piece of fabric yesterday, and honestly, the color is just spot on. Boom! Stick two eyes on my chest, and we're done. Okay, so you know when you go to like a really fancy restaurant and you walk in and like all the napkins on the table are just like fanned out like that? That's what, she she looks like a napkin. Her makeup looks bald. Look at that nose contour. Alright, so I think I've got an idea. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm not naked. YouTube, please don't demonetize this. So with this one, I'm going to just reduce, reuse, recycle and use this. This is going to be the tight skirt down the bottom. Hey, little. Do you mind pegging me up at the back? Well, please. You're just going to have to use your imagination. Just pretend the pegs are not there. So this morning my dad blew these balloons up. When I saw these in the shop, I thought, perfect. I'll just shove them in my dress and they'll bouquet out the sides. I'm hoping it's not gonna let me down because I have such high hopes. <laughs> you see my vision? So if I just keep doing that and repeat that step, I want them to like spill out a bit lower. Oh, <laughs> tricky. You'll definitely know when I enter the room, that's for sure. So then I was thinking with a bit of tissue paper, I could. Honey, that's a different video. <laughs> Did not even notice that. Okay, I just farted and I'm pretty sure it came out of every spell. I look like a peacock during mating season. Oh Do I look like Cardi B yet? You look like a sea urchin. <laughs> this is so stupid. How is this your job? I don't understand. They're not, not directly to that one. I need a bit of love. What the heck do you want? Okay. I bought all this sh** and it stuck down in the side. I'm trying to upload a video right now. And I have to come in here and do this for you. You just grab you my want me long to inflated it? object. No, spot on. So to complete the look, we have some gloves. Probably should have just used my dishwashing gloves. Da -da. Then I have my little Cardi B hat that I made out of hot glue and put a necklace around it. Yeah. We're done. I'm ready for my close up. <laughs> so I'm going to use this graceful montage as an opportunity to tell you that the Canon Inspic also doesn't need batteries. Its USB charging means it's super lightweight and can even fit in your pocket, right next to your bit of leftover rump steak. This chick, I actually don't know who this is, don't kill me. Okay, so in this photo, all I'm seeing is hair. That's a perm gone wrong if I ever did see one. She also looks like she's gotten into a grandma's doilies and stuck them all over her body. How does one even achieve that with their hair? Looks like gravity was absent for her hair and makeup. It looks like she's just come back from Apollo 13. Either that or she's just rubbed a balloon on her hair too much and it's all stuck up. <laughs> Look at that. She's probably the only one who could pull off being an angel and a garden gnome at the same time. So we've gone with um, Kim K's shapewear. You're kidding, it's literally from Kmart. So I bought this piece of fabric thinking it was perfect, but then I realized how see-through it is. Okay, so I put this skirt on underneath because I was getting way too self-conscious. <laughs> so I'm kind of just scrunching up the fabric and, and it's kind of working. That's it, Georgia. Just tell yourself that. Confidence is quay. So yeah, that looks alright, right? So you know how before I said it looks like she stuck a few doilies on her body? I have some doilies. <laughs> Perfect. I look like a really bogan tooth fairy. So, kid, you got anything good? Okay, 12 year old molar, not too bad. I'll give you 20 cents for your tooth, that's the best deal you're gonna get around here. Right, I'm off. <laughs> so now I have to do my hair, but I'm just still confused. Got it, I'm gonna put a balloon underneath my. Yes! I hate blowing up balloons. <laughs> ah, I feel like they're always gonna pop. <laughs> When I was little, I used to be terrified of balloons. I was one of those weird kids who like hated loud noises. Like I was that kid who'd wear earmuffs to the fireworks. I'm gonna put my hair in this. <laughs> oh my god, it works! <laughs> I was really not expecting that to work. Just don't look at the back. And then we have some pearls for my bracelets, and that should be the finishing touch. Okay, so just be honest with me. If you saw me walk into the cinema right now, would you or would you not question that I have a whole roast chicken underneath my hair right now? All right, and I think we're done. Da -da -da -da. Time to go take the photo. So that's all the celebrities I'll be mocking today. And hey, if you have the time, why not check out another video of mine as it really does help out my channel. And thank you so much to Kenan for working with me on this video. And I'll see you next Saturday. See you later, potato. potato.